So one of the biggest concerns a lot of our customers have, or people inquiring about our services, is will a snow melting system perform in cold climate? And in the past, snow melting systems had a hard time competing against the very harsh cold winters. They are heating from a source below, but they are fighting against a source of cold above. So it was very difficult for a snow melting system to climb in temperature fast enough to keep up with a snowstorm in cold temperatures. You see, traditionally, a snow melting system will only start working when a sensor detects the snow. But at that time, it's already too late because the ground is already very cold. A ground could be at minus 15 degrees Celsius, and we are asking the ground that we are trying to heat to climb from minus 15 all the way to above zero, which becomes melting temperature. And that is a hard task to do when you got snow falling on top of you. The snow melting systems would eventually melt that accumulated snow and now start keeping up with the rest of the storm. But here at snowmelting.ca, that wasn't enough for us. We wanted to find a way that we can guarantee no snow accumulation on your heated surface. And that's why we came up with the monitoring service called Crystal. You see, if you decide to have your snow melting system monitored by Crystal, you are going to have an automatic preheating service that will anticipate the next snowstorm and will turn on your snow melting system in advance in anticipation of the next precipitation. And that, what well, that will do is that it will give the heated surface a chance to climb from a very cold temperature all the way to melting temperature before the snow starts falling. And we will do that without being wasteful because our algorithms actually know how long it takes to melt snow in different temperature brackets. And we are going to guarantee no snow accumulation on your heated surface when you opt for your heated surface to be monitored by Crystal.